मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एस्टरडे वी हैव डिस्कस फ्यू क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 4.1 पॉइंट वन होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैव डन द होमवर्क टूडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन द रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 4.1 पॉइंट वन एक्सरसाइज फोर पॉइंट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर राइट इक्वेशन फॉर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट स्टेटमेंट इज गिवन वी हैव टू राइट द इक्वेशन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द सम ऑफ नंबर एक्स एंड फोर इज नाइन sum of x and 4 therefore x plus 4 and it is given is 9 therefore solution is x plus 4 is equal to 9 fourth question the number b divided by 5 gives 6 b divided by 5 solution is b divided by 5 and it is written gives 6 therefore b divided by 5 is equal to 6 is the equation question number 5 3/4th of t is 15 3/4 means 3 upon 4 of t so 3 upon 4 into t is 15 therefore 3 upon 4 Into t is equal to fifteen is the equation. Question number six: seven times m plus seven gets you seventy-seven. Seven times m means seven into m plus seven. Seven into m plus seven gets you seventy-seven. Therefore, equation is seven m plus seven is equal to seventy-seven. Question number seven: one fourth of a number. Minus four gives four. Here number is not given, so let the number be p. And one fourth of a number. It is given one fourth of a number means number is one upon four into p. That we can write p upon one upon four into p. We can write p upon four. Minus four one fourth of a number minus four. Therefore p upon four minus four. Gives four. Therefore, p upon four minus four is equal to four. Is the equation. Question number eight. If you take away six from six times y, you get sixty. Solution. Here number is not given. Let the num number be y, and it is given if you take away six from six times y. So, six times of y. we can write 6y and it is written if you take away 6 take away means we are subtracting from that so 6y minus 6 is equal to 60 so equation is 6y minus 6 is equal to 60 6 times y minus 6 is equal to 60 is the equation Question number nine. If you add three to one third of z, you get thirty. Solution: one third. It is written one third of z. One third of z. We can write one upon three into z. One upon three into z. It can be written as z upon three or one by three into z. And it is given if you add three to one third of z. So one upon three into z plus three and After adding, we will get thirty. Therefore, one by three into z plus three is equal to thirty is the equation. In the next question, equations are given. We have to write it in statement form. Question number five. Write the following equations in statement form. First question: p plus four is equal to fifteen. Solution: Here, p plus four means sum of p and four. Is equal to fifteen. Therefore, we can write the sum of numbers p and four is fifteen. Question number five: three upon five into m is equal to six. Solution: three fifth of m is six. Question number six: three p plus four is equal to twenty-five. Three p means three times p plus Four is equal to twenty-five. Solution: three times p plus four gives twenty-five. Question number eight: p upon two plus two is equal to 
8. Solution when 2 is added to half of a number p. p upon 2 means half of p. It gives 8. Question number 6. Set up an equation in the following cases. First question. Irfan says that he has 7 marbles more than 5 times the marbles permit has. Irfan has 37 marbles. Take M to be the number of permits marbles. Solution. It is given in the question. Let the number of permits marbles be M. And Irfan has 7 marbles more than 5 times the marbles permit has. 5 times the marbles permit has. 5 into M. And also given 7 more. So plus 7. Therefore, 5 into m plus 7 is equal to total number of marbles Irfan having. It is given in the question 37. Therefore, 5 into m plus 7 is equal to total number of marbles Irfan having. 5 into m, we can write 5m plus 7 is equal to 37 is the equation. Second question. Lakshmi's father is 49 years old. He is 4 years older than 3 times Lakshmi's age. Take Lakshmi's age to be Y years. Solution. It is given in the question. Let Lakshmi's age to be Y years. And it is given. Lakshmi's father is 4 years older than 3 times of her age. 3 times 3 into Lakshmi's age plus 4 is equal to age of Lakshmi's father. Age of father is given in the question 49 and let Lakshmi's age be y. Therefore, 3 into y plus 4 is equal to 49. 3y plus 4, 4 is equal to 49 is the equation. Question number 3. The teacher tells the class that the highest marks obtained by a student in her class is twice the lowest marks plus 7. The highest score is 87. Take the lowest score to be L. Solution. It is given in the question. Highest score in the class is 87 and let lowest score to be L. And also given 2 times the lowest score plus 7 is equal to highest score in the class. Lowest score let it be L. So 2 into L plus 7 is equal to highest score is 87. Therefore equation is 2L plus 7 is equal to 87. Question number 4. In an isosceles triangle the vertex angle is twice either base angle. Let the base angle be B in degrees. Remember that the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. An isosceles triangle, this is the vertex angle. These two are the base angles which are equal. So in the question it is given, let the base angles be B. So this angle and this angles are equal. B and B is the value of this angle. And given vertex angle is twice the angle of one of the base angle. Therefore, twice the base angle means 2 into B. And also given some more angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So, if it is B, B plus B plus 2B is equal to 180 degree. So, let the base angle be B in degrees. Given in question, vertex angle is equal to 2 into base angle is equal to 2B. And sum of angles of a triangle B plus B plus 2B is equal to 180 degree. B plus B plus 2B is 4B which is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, the equation is 4B is equal to 180 degree. Today, exercise 4.1 is completed. Write all the question and answers of exercise 4.1 in, in your notebook. Today's homework, NCRT textbook, exercise 4.1, question number 4, write equations for the following statements. Second question, the difference between y and 2 is 8. And question number 3, 10 times a 
is 70. Question number 5. Write the following equations in statement forms. Second question m minus 7 is equal to 3. Third question 2m, minus, 2m is equal to 7. Question number 4. 3p plus 4 is equal to 25. And 7. 4p minus 2 is equal to 1. For more detailed textbook and videos, please log in into the links of Diksha and Extra Maths.